Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Mr. Botvin and in today's video I'm going to be doing yet another yarn haul video. So I got milk cotton yarn from AliExpress because I wanted to try milk cotton out for the longest. Like way before I even got into Lily's Sugar and Cream, I wanted to try milk cotton because I saw it and I was like, I want that yarn. But I never got it because it was hard to find. So I just finally caved in and I was like, okay, I'm going to go on AliExpress and buy some milk cotton yarn. So before I show you guys, I accidentally got them like super small. I thought I was getting like the big one, but when I buy stuff, I don't really read. I just purchase it and hope that whatever I bought is what I was supposed to get. So I didn't, it doesn't really matter that it's small, but I expected it to be a little bigger. But I had to open up my box because my mom and I both got boxes from China. So we didn't know which one was which. So we had to open it, but that's all. I didn't see anything else. I mean, I did see little colors, but that was it. So I'm going to show you guys now and stop talking and then of course like always I'll be doing swatches and then actually I'm going to be starting a project today using this milk cotton yarn for the first time so that's pretty cool but let's get right into it. Okay so I have the box right here it's open of course <laughs> sorry but this is how it came it's actually like stuff like super stuff but here is the first pack you see how small it is i thought it would be bigger but it doesn't it doesn't matter i just wanted no cotton yarn then there's this one and i also got random colors because i didn't even know what i was going to make with it i just wanted to try milk cotton for the first time and then i have this pack this pack and this pack so they stuffed this like full, but that's that's okay. So I have all of these. Perfect. Okay, I had to give it a quick little thumbnail. Oh, and I'm I went back to curly hair. I totally forgot that I switched it up. But yeah, I'm not even gonna get into that. So yeah, curly hair is back. But anyway, back to the yarn. And I didn't even I did, I do have some tools. Okay, so let's open. It's up and see. I don't know. I've been staring at this pink one, so I want to look at the pink one first. So let's see that. Okay, it is opened. I almost thought I wasn't recording for a second. Okay. Okay, so I honestly can't even tell you what it has because I don't understand Chinese. So I... You know, usually I'll tell you guys like the hook, the recommended hook size and stuff, but everything is in side. Chinese. Oh, it's fine. I don't even know if you guys can see. Please hide me. But everything is in Chinese. But that's okay because I'll have three hooks I'll be using for swatches, so I'll see which one works best for me like I always do. And yeah, so let's get right into the swatches. I don't even want to try and talk a lot like I always do. So I have a four millimeter I'll be trying, and this is Furls and Cafe, right? Cafe. Mm -hmm. Cafe. Then I have, no, I have a 4.5 millimeter in Taurus or Taurus. I say Taurus. She says Taurus, Taurus, but I think it's Taurus, but Kahila, she says it doesn't matter, but I get brighter, please, but I personally think it's Taurus, but I have 4.5 in Taurus and then 5 millimeter in, on, in Andromeda, Andromeda. So I'll be trying all of these out and let's try it out right now. So I'm going to do a swatch with the pink and then I'll pick another color to do a swatch with. Oh, I forgot to even say how it feels. It actually looks exactly how it feels. Surpri not surprisingly, but it, I don't know, it's like kind of spongy in a way and it, it's super soft. It kind of feels like acrylic yarn. It really feels like acrylic yarn, but I think it's 100% cotton or 90% cotton at least. I don't know, everything's in Chinese, so I totally forgot. I can look on a site, which is what my sister said to do, but... I think it's like 
mm, cotton acrylic blend. Yeah, and something. But it feels like acrylic. Like, it's so nice and soft and spongy. So I will do a swatch with this color. This color. I don't know why I got that. And then I can do a swatch with another color. Let's do this blue. This blue is so pretty. <gasps> Wait, I didn't have to cut it. It comes with this thingy where I can just open it like that i didn't even see that that's a nice little feature though so i'll do a swatch with this blue and then i'll just grab a purple while i'm here <laughs> okay so i'll show you guys how the yarn looks up close it's like this if you guys can see and then there's the purple one that I'll be using. And then there's the blue that I will be using. So let's start off with the pink swatch and see how I like it. It's already like splitting, but again, I don't mind splitting yarn. I don't know why it never bothers me, but yeah. But it said this is 10 ply, so I honestly don't know what that actually means. But let's get into the swatch. Okay, so I finished the swatch and it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it worked out pretty nicely, but it did split a lot. And I don't know if it's because I'm using a smaller hook because usually when my yarn splits, to me, that means I need to size up with my hook. But other than that, it was so smooth and nice, but it did split a lot. But again, for me, that's not a deal breaker for using yarn that splits because I don't know. We usually when it splits, I just size up and it's normally fine. But I loved how it worked up. But for me personally, I wouldn't use a four millimeter because one, this is kind of a thick yarn. So I would, I feel like 4.5 will be a good like median, but I don't know, five could work too because this is, this is a thick yarn. It's not, and then it's fluffy and spongy. So it's not a yarn that looks thin, but looks thick, but thins out as you crochet. Like it's, it's solid the entire time. It literally reminds me of acrylic, like 100% acrylic yarn, but it's cotton. I think it's mi mixed with acrylic though. But let's try another swatch with my new hook. I literally just got this one today, and this is 4.5, so let's do it with purple. That'll be pretty. Ooh, that could be pretty. Okay, so 4.5. Let's hope this is the one I use because I love 4.5. 4.5 is my to-go hook. I use 4.5 with mostly everything except ribbing. I do use a 4 millimeter for ribbing because I like my scissors tight for that. So let's do a quick little swatch with 4.5. Okay, so I finished my purple swatch and it looks like this. Anyway, hopefully you guys can see that, but my opinion, I don't know. I usually when I use a 4.5, I feel like yeah, this is this is the hook to use. 
but for some reason it still felt like super thick to work with i don't know if it's just the way i'm crocheting but i mean it was smooth it still split a little bit but not as much as when i was using the four millimeter but it did still split but not as much and i don't know it wasn't it was smooth to work up with and everything everything else is fine it's just figuring out what size hook to use because this is really thick and it's so spongy i was gonna say it's really thick but it's just super super spongy and i love the sponginess because that means it stretches and i honestly prefer yarn that stretches not yarn that's still even though lily sugar and cream that doesn't really stretch but we'll give that a pass we'll give lily sugar and cream a pass but i love i love working up with the yarn i love it a lot but i want to try and see if five millimeter will work so let's just do a swatch with five and see how i feel about that Okay, so I finished the five millimeter swatch and this is how it looks. And uh, let me tell you, I love it. I 100% love it. This is the hook I will be using. Let me turn my phone off. This is the hook I will be using when it was so smooth to work with. Like I wasn't struggling, the splitting, I don't even know it was split because I was working so fast with it. I didn't even realize even if it did like, five millimeter it works and it actually makes sense to use a five millimeter because when i was doing all of my acrylic projects i would use a five millimeter that was my go-to hook but then i switched to a 4.5 when i started using cotton yarn but since this is such a thick cotton yarn five millimeter works beautifully so i am going to use my five millimeter i thought i would switch back to my 4.5 but seeing how quickly and nicely it worked up and the stitches it's not even like that noticeably noticeably bigger you know like usually when you size up on a hook your stitches get a little wide and it starts to look a little bigger than when you would use a smaller hook your stitches aren't as tight but my stitches were it looks great i'll put everything together so you guys can see so let me so the four is the four is the four millimeter i mean the four what's the pink is the four millimeter the purple is the 4.5 and then the blue is the five millimeter so that's how the swatches look next to each other and i'm definitely 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 going with the five millimeter that is it's that that's what i'm using i love it i love it and i love how spongy it is like i literally love how spongy it is i'm definitely going to get more yarn but i'll probably try and find another vendor that sells them bigger because i don't know since i love it so much i need i need more than this this is nice yarn i love it 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 met all my expectations and everything i wanted this yarn so badly and now that i have it i love it i'm not disappointed like nothing about this yarn is disappointing and then they had a wide range of colors they had 72 colors it was so hard to pick colors i just picked like random ones i wanted a few bright ones which is why i got like pink and blue and purple but then i wanted some darker colors too so i have like I didn't even show you guys all the colors I got. Wow. So let me show you guys that. So I have, okay, that just slipped. So I have the purple and the pink and the blue, like you guys saw with my swatches and the blue. And then I got a pretty green. It looks brighter in the camera than it does in person. It's like moss green or forest green. It's really, it's a really pretty color. Then I got this pretty maroon color oh i got this too that's pretty then i got this pretty like maroon ish color it's so nice i wanted something that's like wine colorish that looks rich and then i got this brown color i don't even know why i got this but it's really pretty and i don't usually get dark colored yarns 
I don't know why I try and stick on the brighter side of yarns because the yarn colors because I don't know it's especially since it's summer I don't want to do any dark projects but I got this because I was like later on I will use this I know I will and it doesn't matter if it's summer I will use dark colors if I want to you know then there's black I'm pretty sure everyone knows what black looks like so it's just a basic black color nothing special about this and then there's white then I got white so I have these colors this black green blue purple and yeah it's just these so that's what I got but yeah so that's really it on this yarn haul in conclusion I would rate this a 10 out of 10 I love it I love how it looks I love everything about it and I can't wait to start my project today using this yarn I'll probably be using like the pink the white and maybe a little bit of the blue I think I'll do pink blue and white because that's pretty like summery colors so yeah that is the end of this yarn haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you'll be notified whenever i post another video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye